Are you happy to be in church? <laughs> Amen. Happy Sunday. Um, so I'm really grateful for what God is doing here at North Shore Fellowship, um, and it's really exciting to see. Like Raphael said, I've known Raphael and Ali for about 10 years, um, and they are just truly such loving followers of God. Um, they really have a heart for people, heart for ministry, and they have incredible music. Um, I've had Ali's latest CD, Able God, on repeat, and it's so amazing. Yes, let's clap. <laughs> it's wonderful. Lots of inspiration there. Um, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about my journey in Christ. Um, I've been a believer for most of my life. Um, I grew up in Westfield, New Jersey. Um, my amazing parents, um, my mom's here today, and my grandma, um, and they're incredible. And they really raised me in the faith um, and had a great childhood. Um, and then I moved to New York City um, to pursue a career in fashion. Um, and I've lived in the city for the past six years. Um, the city is a great place, and I've, I've grown a lot from it. I discovered um, Hillsong, New York, and, and ended up serving on the events team there, um, which has just truly been a blessing, and I've met so many incredible people. Um, and through Hillsong, I ended up getting connected um, and joining um, a small group for girls my age, um, and I was really mentored by this wonderful woman. Um, and I've had other amazing opportunities um, to dive deeper into scripture and to take classes um, at night on, you know, studying theology. Um, and it's really been amazing. But in the past year, I've really decided to dive deeper into my faith um, and into my prayer life and into studying scripture. Um, and God has really put it on my heart that it's time for me to move back to New Jersey um, and that. I really want to serve with North Shore Fellowship, um, and I really, I really want to help um, draw in young people. I really have a heart for um, sharing the word with young people um, like myself in their teens, 20s, even early 30s, because I think that this is a really monumental time um, in your life where you're really shaping your identity um, and you're figuring out who you are. And aside from Christ, that can be really challenging and you can run into um, a lot of issues. And I know that um, while I've been in the city, I've struggled um, with anxiety and um, with really knowing who I am. And, and it can be challenging in this world when, when you look around to people and, and you try to figure out you know, who you're called to be. Um, but it's beautiful because we find our, our identity in Christ um, and he's the source of our value. And in him, we have peace. So while I was praying for young people in Monmouth County, um, two scriptures really came to my heart. The first is from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. Um, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. And it says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And that's a great scripture. Um, and then the second one is John chapter 14, um, verse 27. And probably a lot of people um, are familiar with this one, but it's just so wonderful. Um, it says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So while praying um, on these scriptures and, and in talking to Raphael and Ali, um, I really felt like my calling um, at North Shore is to help with the social media, um, particularly the Instagram account. Um, to keep people updated on upcoming events um, and daily inspiration through scripture. And then also to host a small group um, where people can find community um, in their 
you know, their teens, their 20s, their early 30s, um, other people who are lifting up Christ and, and are really rooted in the same foundations. Um, so that's really my prayer and, and my desire to serve North Shore Fellowship. And I'm so grateful um, to have such amazing leadership and Ali and Raphael and all the wonderful volunteers. Um, so I just want to pray. Um, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing here. Lord, we thank you for incredible leadership, God. We thank you that you're so good and that you always deliver, Lord. We thank you that you're with us no matter what we're going through, Lord. We pray that as we're about to hear this incredible message, Lord, that we would just lean in, God, and that we would, we would be present, Lord, and that we would be so expectant for what you're going to do in our lives, God. We thank you so much for everything you're doing, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.